do you think is the key to disagreeing well? Yeah, uh, well, it's, uh, I mean, if we had the answer to this, uh, uh, we'd be out there telling people, would we? Um, I mean, for, for what it's worth, I mean, I really do think this council culture is deadly uh, for our country and for, for, for the world and for the notion of liberal democracy, because since time immemorial, people have disagreed. Um, but it's back to that point around the, the divisiveness, the nastiness of it all. And I think we've just got to be big enough and including as politicians to, to agree to disagree, um, not to pretend that we're going to persuade everyone to our cause. And, you know, across the aisle, as it were, in Parliament, I have great friends on the Labour benches um, who, uh, who I probably shouldn't name in case momentum tries to select. <laughs> <laughs> um, such as the world that the Labour Party still finds itself in. Um, but, you know, we agree to disagree. We know we're not going to convert each other to each other's cause. And this notion, uh, this, uh, uh, this idea that uh, by growing organisations like Mentum, we're just going to get a, a, you know, a total uh, revolution in uh in our politics. It, it, that is, that's the sort of the problem. I have to say that as an observation also, as well as agreeing to disagree. Um, I, I, I do get people saying I'm just a, a party man, that I always vote with the whip. <clears throat> but as I've said a moment ago, I rebelled a number of times in the last parliament mm -hmm. and indeed in the parliament before that. Mm -hmm. And then they say, well, I didn't rebel in the right way on the right votes. Mm -hmm. So they only want you to rebel if it's in line with their own thinking. And so, you, you know, you can't have it both ways. And again, you've it comes back to the principle of agreeing to disagree. And, you know, if you elect MPs, you want to, you, them to use their own judgment, having looked at all the evidence that they've got in front of them, having had those discussions with colleagues um, on their own side and on the other side of the aisle, and to then stand by those decisions at an election where people can have their say. And people have this in uh, December um, and uh, you know uh, the the people of North East Hampshire and the whole country have their say so um, I, I don't think people can pick and choose mm. on where they want their MP to disagree with the government you know I'm a conservative